Hey guys, what's up? It's Dragoon here, and once again, I am blessed with having to record a video in an unorthodox fashion. Uh, welcome to my studio, aka my kitchen. Um, so for some reason, my camera that I usually record these types of videos with is missing, and I have no idea where it is. So you guys get the luxury of seeing this video recorded with my laptop's built-in webcam. So hopefully the quality is not garbage. But as you can see here, I have a Crossed Souls Advanced Edition. Um, I've actually never picked one of these up. I realize this is not a new product necessarily. Um, but I buy packs so infrequently that I just never had the chance to pick up any of these. I found one on sale when I was Christmas shopping, so I figured, hey, why not? I'll open it up on camera. There's actually a couple cards I do want out of the set. Um, so I figured, hey, it might be fun, and if I'm really lucky, I might pull them, although I doubt it, right? So if you've never seen one of these boxes, this is the front, this is the back, let's go ahead and get it opened. So I'm hoping that, uh, my camera is just in my room underneath something, and I, I tried looking for it, but I just, I have no idea where it would be. I thought I had it on my shelf, but... Maybe not. So let's see what promos we get. We're supposed to get two of them. Uh, you can get either Wavering Eyes or Return of the Red Eyes and a Zephyr card, I believe, and Chosen of the Zephyr. So Zephyr Monster or a Zephyr tra Trap and a Red Eyes card or Wavering Eyes. So Eyes or Zephyr. Um, I'm hoping I get Wavering Eyes because I think that card's a little better. Um, so we got the Zephyr Trap card. Chosen of the Zephra, and we got Wavering Eyes. So that's good. Uh, good start. Um, Wavering Eyes is a cool looking card. And so I already have it as a common, but now I can have it as a super. So if I want to side it, it's, I think it's a pretty decent card. And I have no idea what this Zephra Trap card does, so... Um, we'll just put the promos over here. I think Konami, uh, with Clash of Rebellions... Or, oh, there we go. I guess that works. It was either with Clash of Rebellions or, um, actually, we'll put them right there. Uh, the one, yeah, it's got to be with Clash of Rebellions. They changed it back to the old school special edition style, where you just get, like, one promo. And, but this was way better than the, what was the, um, super edition, where you got, like, one of 12 supers. It was ridiculous. I kind of like this one, I think. Uh, this setup. You get a preview card and a promo card, but I digress. Here are the three Cross Souls packs. Let's hope for something awesome. Let's, uh, there you go. Pack Ichiban. So, I really want Teller Knight Ptolemyos. So, let's see what we get. We have Yosenju Kodam. Uh, Yosen Whirlwind, Shadal, Zephyr Core. I have to read these upside down, so forgive me if I mispronounce something. Uh, Harmonic Oscillation. Oscillation, that's what I thought. Yosenju, Oyam, and we get an ultra rare Infernoid Dev. I don't know. <laughs> Dev Yati. Let's go with that. I don't even know if this card's any good. But cool, we got an Ultra, so that's awesome. We'll put it right here. What else do we get here? Uh, Primitive Butterfly, Performer Pal, Pinch Helper, and Abyss Stungray. I think this is one of those trap monsters, right? Yeah, it is. So those are the commons. I'll grab the rare. I didn't even know this Yosenju card existed. Honestly. Um... Where do we want to put the rares? Here's good. Put the commons out over there. So, next one. Well, the fact that I already got an ultra probably means the rest of these aren't aren't gonna be anything, right? Um, let me know if this card's good. Leave a comment. Maybe I should have gotten uh, one of those one of that one of the new pack too. Um, but I'm waiting for Breakers of Shadow, because that, that looks like a legit set. So, okay, so we have Infernoid Shjet. I don't know. 
Uh, half on break. Fluffle Sheep. This card's pretty good, I think. Uh, Dizzying Winds of Yosen Village. What are all what are all these Yosenju cards I've never seen because no one uses them? Uh, Fusion Contrascription. Con yes, Conscription. There we go. You guys have no idea. I sound like an idiot. This card's good, too. Um, so I guess this is a pretty good rare to get. Uh, some Super Rubbery Samurais. I, a Pudding. Okay. I had no idea this card existed. Pudding. Uh, Zephyr Monster and... Oh. It's the the trap card we already got as a super. So thanks, Konami. Thanks. Alright, well, you know what? I kind of take back what I said. I don't want super rare versions of cards that are already in the set, really. But I do like the idea of giving you a sneak peek card. Oh, wait, no. This one's not in the set. I don't think. Alright, so where's our rare ad? Here we go. But the, the, that trap card. We don't need that. Give me something better. Give me like a promo, a reprint, and a promo from the upcoming set. Now that would be awesome. Alright, so last pack. The final one. Uh, there's some Raid Raptors in here. That's kind of cool. Uh, Super Heavy Samurai, Fluffle Sheep, another Super Heavy Samurai, uh, Zephra Rare. And a super, Zephra Divine Strike. So wow, we got two foils out of three packs. I don't, I don't, I probably, this probably isn't even any good, but I'll see what it does. Another Zephra Monster, another of the stinking trap card, and Edge Imp. So oh, that card's uh, pretty good as far as I know as well. Where's our, the rare card? So that's what we got. Um, we have Wavering Eyes, Chosen of Zephyr, Infernoid. Deviati and Zephra Divine Strike. What does this even do? Wow. It's not bad. It's like a... It's sort of like a Solemn. But you just gotta banish a Zephra. So I wonder if this gets played at all. Um, and I'll, I'm not gonna waste your time by reading the Infernoid Monsters text. And for the rares, we have this Yangzing Zephra Monster, Fusion Conscription, and Yosenju Oyam. So... I think we did pretty well. Uh, hopefully, at least, hopefully some of these cards are worth something. And, you know, I didn't waste any money. Because that's never fun. Uh, but I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Leave a comment. Let me know if you'd like me to do uh, more card openings in the future. I can definitely try to do that. Like I said, I just, I don't buy a whole lot of cards because I have really bad luck. Uh, not, not particularly evidenced by this video. Because I think these polls are definitely pretty decent. But I want to thank you guys for watching. Like I said, leave a comment. Let me know. I'm definitely going to be buying some Breakers of Shadow because I think that is a set that you can probably invest a little bit of money in and hopefully get uh, some of that back with the cards that are in the set because they look really good. Um, and with that, I will catch you guys next time.